Welcome back and this time I'm going to create a video in order to very first we're going to create this one is what I have done last time but since it's to review it we're going to create this one is with one label which is the um, ID okay then from here we'll have a text field for you to input ID if needed okay if you don't need the ID let's say auto automatically um, generated then you don't have to then this one is another which is name of a product okay name of products um we'll pretty much undo this one and place this one a little bit longer here then name of the products okay name of the products okay then probably quantity 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 then we're going to create a text field here, a text field here, and a button to um, post it online, and a button to submit it, or post it online. Okay, post it online, post it online, and and the um, JSON message and, and the uh, online link I already said. And this one is for it to um, post the product information, product information online. Then. We're going to design this form first, do one by one. We're going to design the form first. So we're going to get back to Android, start new project. And this one is going to be, uh, let's say, a post JSON's um, 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 demo or um, um, JSON um, web service demo, uh, communicating with JSON web service. Okay, next, next. Next, including of sending a JSON message and receiving the return um, 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 JSON result, and also um, processing um, um, those messages. So we're going to design. Let's let's just say we design a table layout. So this one will say table layout. We will say table layout. Yeah. Then for this table layout, I'm going to drag in. A uh, large text field to the first column. Okay, double click on this large text field to say ID. Okay, then I'm going to um, put another large text field for the second row. This one is the name, and I'm going to place another large text field which is the quantity for the third row and column number zero. And I'm probably I'm going to keep a space for the quantity. Okay, it is the longest one. Then we're going to place some, um, 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 the ID must be number, so I'm going to place a number inside here for the ID. Then the name um, 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 must be a string, so just put um, um, normal plain text here. Then the quantity must be a number, so place he, up here a number. Yeah. So we have um, 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 just three rows. Then there is um, one more thing, which is a button for us to post it. The button for us to post it. Okay, this is the button. Then we're going to get text there. Um, we're going to get text there. And we'll see from here. Let's just, you know, see the, 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 the uh, text here. I prefer it to, to uh, extend it as much um, as possible on the screen. So I'm going to set the table layout with a property which is called the stretch columns number one okay because we have two columns this is column number zero and this is column number one and you see now it stretches out you see now it stretches out so i'm going to double click on this one and say uh, button post okay netian post then i want to double click on this one change it txt id double click on this one change it txt name double click on this one change it into txt quantity Okay, the active quantity. Then we're going to have the uh, main activity over here. Then we're gonna do several um, of the job, but the job gonna be uh, many kinds of different tasks together. Then the first thing first, okay, I think um, we're going to um, get data and return our JSON object. I'm gonna create a method like that. So this one is private um, void. Um, um, private void um, um, get data um, 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 okay um, 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 um. convert data to JSON 
Okay, so um, this one we're going to access to the um, um, fields, access to the text field that we named this now, which is edit text. Okay, txt um, um, txt um, um, id equal to um, edit text. Okay, find view by id dot dot txt id. Similarly, we wanna duplicate this one, duplicate this one for txt name and txt quantity. Oops, quantity. Okay, then we'll copy txt name for txt name, copy txt quantity for txt quantity. So we have access to txt id name and quantity already. You have like int um, id equal to um, id equal to txt id dot get text dot to string, but they must be numbers. They must be numbers. So you're going to um, you're going to how to say um, um, use integer dot pass int from these values. Okay. Similarly, um, the string name equal to um, um, txt name dot get text. Okay. Dot to string. And I'm going to copy this one for the quantity. This one is quantity. Okay, and this one must be txt quantity. Okay, then now is the important point. We now, we are able to get three separate values already, which is the ID, okay, the name, and the quantity. Now, the next job is we're going to Place all of them into key value pairs of JSON object, JSON Java JSON object. Okay, the Java JSON object class. So inside here we need to have the key which is um, ID, with the values is ID, uh, key which is name, which is the values which is input name. And the next one is the um, quantity, um, the values is the quantity that you're gonna put in here. So you have ID taken, gonna be put into ID, name gonna put into name, and quantity gonna be put into quantity, okay? So um, correspondingly, and that one is what I'm going to do now here. So for that one, we're going to use um, JSON class, JSON object, okay, from Java, um, um, from the package awk.json there. Then um, we'll say JSON object equal to um, equal to new JSON object. Okay, and you can specify several of the um, um, information over there. However, this time we use no parameters. This is an empty JSON object. Then we're going to take ID, put into ID field name, put in name field, so on and so forth. Then we're going to say JSON object dot um, put the key which is ID for the ID field. Similarly, I'm gonna duplicate it, duplicate this one for name, for name field, and for quantity. Then the variable is quantity, and you may have some JSON errors, so we may need to surround the uh, um, this we try catch up with around all of them. So I'm gonna cut this one there and put it here, and and so. See, so now we are able to um, convert um, um, data to JSON already. Okay, so this one, if there is no error happens, we're going to return. Okay, we're going to return JSON object. Hmm, this one must be not void, but um, JSON object. Because we're going to take the data and convert into JSON object. Okay, then um, um, from this JSON object, you want to be able to convert into a string, actually. Um, okay, or you can, or you can, how to say, or you can um, um, build the um, JSON string um, um, automatically, automatically. In um, um, probably no, not um, um, not automatically, but you can build the JSON string manually. Um, and the next job is I'm going to. Um, 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 I can just use directly. Then from this one, we can convert into JSON string. And the next job, I think I want to do it in, in um, 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 next video, which is we're going to. So from this one, we can, um, uh, from this one, we can, after this, we want to convert into a JSON string. Okay, JSON string is something like we have done over here, this one. 
So from that one, we're going to convert it into, uh, let's say, JSON string. This is the one. Okay, convert to JSON string. And actually, if you would like to, you can build manually, not automatically. Okay, not via JSON object, but you can build directly from the I the input here, the insert into here. Okay, um, 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 from the name you put into here from the quantity you input into here and you build this JSON string automatically. Then in the next video, we're going to do the um, 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 post um, of this one to the internet.